<laughs> Welcome back. We are definitely feeling it this Friday, and we've talked a lot about the State Fair this week. Uh, we don't want to fast forward too much, but we're excited it's back. They've got a lot of new foods this year for the big, great Minnesota get-together. We're diving into them headfirst with the best of state foodies, the best of the best. We absolutely love her. Welcome back to our family, Miss Stephanie Hansen. Hi, Steph. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Oh, you're not in your kitchen. I know. I was like, where are you? Living room. I'm, I'm, I'm in a co-working space in oh. Ely, Minnesota, above a coffee shop. So. Is that why you're whispering? Well, I'm a little being trying to be a little quieter. I've warned my guests that <laughs> I have a TV segment going on. So, you know, we'll try to be very respectful. Hi, everybody in Ely. Um, can I ask, Hi. though, like, what's the weather like up there for the fourth? Is it going to be nice? Oh, my gosh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be 91 on Saturday and 85 on Sunday. They've got lots of activities planned in town. Ely is a great place to come for a day trip. Love it. OK, we're starting off hot with refreshments. The cucumber jalapeno limeade. Yeah, so there were 26 new foods that were introduced and everybody's excited about getting back to the state fair, right? So I was really excited about this list, but there were some common things. There were a number of mocktails that are going to be offered. There were biscuits, their waffles are big this year for trends. And the list was pretty heavy on the sweet. So let's just start with the cucumber jalapeno lemonade that Farmers Union's going to do. They typically have done things that are like BLTs and things that are straight from the farm. So I was excited that they're doing this beverage. It just looks so refreshing. I love limeade in general. Um, Shane asked this yesterday or the other day when we were talking about this. Are they going to be able to spike it? For real. I mean, this is an honest question. It looks like it should have some tequila or <laughs> vodka in it. Shane, I love that you asked this. <laughs> No, they won't. And I'm not going to advocate bringing little onesies in your purse into the state fair. But I think that that's something that it just looks like it would be great, doesn't it? I'm not going to advocate or tell you how to do it. But yeah, that does sound no. like it would be lovely, Stephanie. Uh, next up, bison bites. Tell us about those. Why'd they catch your eye? Yeah, so it, I liked them because it's Giggles, right? And Giggles Grill, the Northwoods area up there, they always do a great job. They've got the duck wings. They've got a little more foodie shishi items. And I like these raviolis. They've got ground bison in them with phyllo, also braised fennel. And they've got um, mushrooms and a little uh, barbecue dipping sauce. I just think that all the new foods they do are usually good. So I'm giving these a try. I think they look exciting. Ooh, and then this one, I, I thought when I saw it on the list, I agreed with you that it looked really good. Sashimi tuna tacos. Okay, I've already had these and I can't oh. wait to have them again. It's from the New Scenic Cafe. They're in Duluth and they have this sashimi tuna sliced really thin with avocado, the wontons, a little wasabi, the coleslaw that they make that's an Asian slaw. These are just going to be really delicious and refreshing and something different at the fair that you don't normally see. I'd eat those at a fine restaurant. Those look good. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And I have. They're amazing. Good. Confirmed. Uh, next up, we know you mentioned it waffles are big nordic waffles a, a big hit too tell us which one caught your eye here okay so in terms of waffles i was excited about the waffle burger that's at andy's grill i don't know why a burger sandwich between two waffles and dunked in maple <laughs> syrup sounds good to me but it does like i don't know i just i like handhelds i like them they get creative with what they put the burger with so that's one thing but then okay. i'm also excited and I've had both of the Nordic waffle entries this year. One is the ice cream sandwich. It's a nostalgic ice cream sandwich stuffed between that Nordic waffle with a kettle corn on top and yes. sprinkles. And it doesn't seem like super fancy, but it you really can taste the corn. So it's got just like all that sweet, that salty, that corny that I really love. So that's a great one. And then the other one, it looks good. It's going to taste good, but it's kind of weird. It's a chicken leg that's fried inside a Nordic waffle that's holding macaroni salad. <laughs> okay. it, I've had it. It does taste good, but I huh. will admit, I'm curious how people are going to do this with, let's face it, I've got my beer, right. then I've got yeah. my Nordic waffle, and then how do I get my chicken and uh, rah, 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 on the We leg. need more hands and wet wipes, yeah. a lot hands. of wet wipes. Yeah, we also mm -hmm. need more time with Miss Stephanie Hansen. That's why she's going to be joining us right when we come back. Stick around, everybody.